What's up guys, Sal here. So here it is. After months of talking about the Galaxy S21, we finally have our first hands-on video of the Galaxy S21 Plus, courtesy of Random Stuff 2 YouTube channel. I'll link the full video in the description box, do check it out. We have been hearing rumors that the Galaxy S21 might not change much design-wise from the Galaxy S20 series, and this video of the Galaxy S21 Plus suggests that could well be the case. We have a punch-hole camera front that looks identical in size to the one on the Galaxy S20. But even though it looks identical, there are some significant changes. First, look at that chin though. Perhaps the thinnest one we have ever seen, even thinner than the iPhone 12 Pro. Samsung has made the bezels uniform all around and they are razor thin that enhances the beauty of this handset even more. Samsung has fitted this device with a 120Hz 6.7 inch display and just like the 2020 Samsung flagships, you can't enable 120Hz at max dot resolution, but you can do it though on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Anyway, Samsung has also made the display flat this time on the S21 and S21 Plus. There are no curved edges which some are gonna appreciate a lot. The Galaxy S21 Ultra will be the only S21 variant to have a curved screen, so if you are a fan of it then you know which variant you need to go for. All in all, the Galaxy S21 Plus looks beautiful from the front. Heck, I could even say it's one of the best looking phones out there, if not the best, at least from the front. Now coming to the back, you can see the wrapper on camera. At first glance, you would think the back is made of plastic, but it's not. It's matte glass similar to the one we have on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. In fact, the Galaxy S21 is the only variant to have a plastic build. Other variants will have glass. Now the camera module also looks matte with those huge camera lenses. Personally, I don't think it's a good design choice to make the camera module matte. I mean, the Note 20 Ultra looks amazing from the back and the biggest factor is this combination of matte and glossy on the back. I don't understand why Samsung didn't go with the same design principle on the S21 Plus. Maybe other color variants will have a glossy camera module. We'll have to wait until the unpacked event to find out because usually Samsung gives the black variant to the early testers and that's why we always see the black variant gets leaked out, never the colored variants. Moving on, it's a well-known thing at this point that the Exynos 2100 will be faster than the Snapdragon 888 purely because Samsung is using higher clock speeds on their Exynos S21s. Now because of this, some people were concerned about the battery life because the higher the gigahertz, more battery it consumes. But Ice Universe says the battery life won't be an issue on the Exynos S21. He says performing the same test, the Exynos Galaxy S20 Ultra consumes 55% of the battery, while the Exynos 2100 equipped Galaxy S21 Ultra only consumes 22%. That's a massive improvement to battery life. The main reason Exynos models used to drain battery faster is due to the custom M cores, as they were battery hogs, but since Samsung dished these custom cores on the new Exynos 20 2100, the battery issue won't be an issue anymore. In any case, Samsung will officially unveil the Exynos 2100 on 15th of December, so we'll hear more about it and as always, I'll keep you posted with everything, so do consider subscribing for that and as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.